Bristol North Somerset Railway line. We've left Hewish behind us and we're now walking down towards Kilmerston uh, Incline. Um, that led up to Kilmerston Colliery. Uh, we walk up there because there's, no, there's not much left, it's really overgrown. There's some old pictures I'll try and put on and try and compare them of pictures I, I take today. Kilmerston Colliery was established from February 1875 as part of the Witherington group of collieries. Access to coal mining beneath Kilmerston was through a network of tunnels from an entrance at Hayden, a nearby hamlet, resulting in the colliery also being known as Hayden Pit. During its life, the maximum depth of the shaft reached close to 500 metres, 1,600 feet. Coal in the 4 foot, 1.2 metre high seams was extracted by by hand using the topple down method. Once carting boys had extracted cut coal to the main shaft it was placed into trams for extraction to the surface at a maximum rate of 90 trams or 85 tonnes. Nationalised after World War II as part of the National Coal Board it became the last colliery to be working the Somerset coal field. During its later operating years, the extracted coal was transported under contract to Porter's Head Power Station. Closed in August 1973, its structures were de demolished, the shaft filled, followed by extensive landscaping. Former joint railway structures which existed at the foot of the rope work incline were demolished in 2005. Hello, my name's Odie. I'm in the area of the Kilmerston Colliery in the Radstock area. The sinking of the main co coaling shaft at Kilmerston Colliery began in 1874 and the first coal was wound in 1878. It appears that the incline was constructed in the previous year. The working of the incline was a simple operation. A full standard 16 ton wagon descended the northern track of the incline, pulling an empty wagon up on the southern track. These wagons were controlled by two brake levers between the tracks which acted on brake bands on the two horizontal cable drums in the winding house at the head of the incline. Two stops were placed at the head of the incline to prevent wagons from accidentally plunging over the edge. The Kilmerson incline was the last gravity operated incline in the country. Okay, that's enough about the history. Let's take a walk down the incline up to the bottom where the Bristol and North Somerset Railway is and we'll have a look around there. Here we are at the bottom of the incline. This is where the Kilmerston incline met the Bristol and North Somerset Railway. We'll have a look round and see what we can find. If there is any ruins left of any buildings that were at the bottom of the exchange sidings. I will show you some pictures taken in 1966 of the incline so you get an idea of what it looked like then.
for watching. That's Kilmiston, Colliery and the Incline done. We'll now be moving on to Upper and Lower Witherington Collieries and that'll finish that group off. So please subscribe and uh, press the like button and ring that bell so you'll know when the next video is out. And take advice for now from me, Odie.